This video is sponsored by Light It Up Electric. Do not let these young guys fool you. They are on a mission. They are ambitious. They come in and they do a great job. They went to the city that I live in, got the permit and served the permit, and they passed with flying colors. They do a great job. Look them up if you're in the San Antonio area. Okay. Uh, that's where the lathe goes, right there. But uh, I still haven't gotten it from Grizzly, so uh, it's supposed to come in on Wednesday. So I decided to take advantage of this weekend, and I bought a bunch of boards to get that corner uh, boarded in, just like the rest of these walls here. Uh, but I also, I also uh, made those two blanks plus those four blanks. And I'm going to turn them out. Uh, there's a, a show coming up, an art show coming up. Uh, opportunity for me to make a little extra buck here and there. So I'm going to do that. So I figured since the lathe is gone, I don't have anything to do. I'll just make some blanks and uh, put these walls in. Here's the insulation. Uh, I found these, well, Mahogan's granddad's uh, uh, sheep shears. And these things are awesome. They're super sharp. They're old, but they're super sharp. And they cut this insulation like butter. It's, they're awesome. I've used all kinds of stuff on insulation before. But I picked these things up just to play around. Like, oh, check this out. It looks like sheep. Well, holy cow, just like butter. So I've been using those a lot. They're awesome. So anyways, I'm working on this corner over here. I already, uh, I already uh, put the spray foam in, in these uh, R-panel. Uh, grooves to seal them up so the airflow is a little less for the winter time mainly winter summer is gonna suck but all the way up there all the way around that way all the way on that side of the shop all the way around so all that corner over there sealed up that was done months ago but when I started this one today uh, I decided oh man I, I forgot I gotta do that so I just did that today and now uh, I started with the two boards and I'm going to put the insulation up on the wall. That's my, um, that's my stick that's going to hold it up for me while I'm putting the, the sticks up. It's not a professional job because I'm not a professional, but it's going to work. And that's what all that's done with. All that has, has insulation behind it. And uh, it's more for, this is, uh, these, these, uh, these doors, they don't seal on top, so it's not for... Uh, 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 insulation uh, heat and cold as much as insulation for the neighbors so they don't hear me in here cussing and and um, banging myself on the hand and you know the the radio going and stuff like that and the lathe turning so it's more for the neighbors just to quiet this place down a little bit all right well I'm gonna work on this wall and uh, I'll show you a little more progress in a minute all right so it's this simple you just pick up this board, and right now I have these, uh, four, how big are these boards? Uh, they're regular just fence posts. Fence, show them that fence over there, Logan. See that fence over there? They're just those fence posts. So these are uh, six. They were, well, they're five and a half now. Anyways, uh, when you get them, these are, are treated, uh, treated boards. And I found out with that wall that if you just get the treated boards and you just put them on the wall real quick, well then they shrink up and you have all these gaps. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted the I wanted the the insulation to kind of do what's what it's supposed to be do, but not really, but, you know, but kinda. And then it gapped out. So now I'm like, well, now the air is just flowing through. It's for noise purposes anyway. So um, I let these dry for a week and a half. All those two. And so. Uh, they, they are dried. They're all warpy and funny, but we're pushing them into shape. Just put this here, like that. Uh oh. Get your drill. Put a little tacker here. Now, I will say something. I was helper, helper. for the other walls, but I've been sick because of this oak in the air. So I'm this staying in the house. Longer. This one has to be longer because it's got to go up to this uh, this electrical jack plate that um, mm -hmm. lighted up electrical did for us. Good guys. They came in, 
They were here for three days to do the whole shop, but they had, uh, the first day they had three guys on it, and then they had, the other guys had two other jobs, but uh, they came in, they cleaned every day after they got done with working, which I've, I've never seen an electrician do in my life, but these guys came in, they worked and put the stuff in for us, and they cleaned up every day, they came in, they gave me a really great price, and um, so I just want to shout out to Light It Up Electrical. I think you saw their sticker on my late last couple of videos. Uh, that's how much I really appreciated them because they did a really great job. Anyways, I gotta make this, I gotta make this uh, uh, board longer. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll cut back to it. All right. So, uh, I cut the board longer. Uh, and then later on with these when this this panel goes up It'll come in like that And then you know, it's not perfect But this will come in like this. I'll have to, have to cut it so it fits like that this and that blah 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 But this right here will go like this and I'll just I'll put a little a, a cheater stick in there, you know uh, Sometimes woodworking is an illusion and I'm a great illusionist sometimes not all the times For the most part I'm a perfectionist but this wall sometimes gets tricky. Very tricky. You put this up like this. Oh yeah. And these, these boards warped. Um, before they were like, if they were warped, they weren't warped a lot. So, and they were wet. And so, but now that they're dry, it's, they warped. So, a lot, but they're, they're pretty flexible uh, boards. And you can kind of do that to them and then, and do that and it's, it's straight again, so. Getting close. Ladder, it's ladder time. So I'm doing two small boards, one wide board, two small boards, one wide board. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. I probably could have bought um, all wide boards, but I wanted that differentiation. But if you look at the other wall, it's like, you really can't tell. But it just kind of adds to it, I think. Uh, the reason I didn't go with just uh, uh, plywood is because it was like 40 bucks a piece of plywood, four by eight piece of plywood. And then these are five foot sections right here. Well, what do you do with that three feet? And then what, you're gonna go ahead and start putting the, uh, these cross numbers in to, to screw into. And then they're all mix matchy, mix matchy. Well, what happens then? And where, and you're gonna cut it off? So I was like, well, I'll just cut them off at three feet. Well, what am I gonna do with the three foot of, you know, all these, uh, all these, it was just, I was boggling my mind. So I went to Home Depot and I looked at the, the Four by eight, and I was like, uh, 40 bucks times how many? Oh my gosh. So I was kind of walking around, stumbling around Home Depot trying to figure it out, and I came across these sticks. I was like, well, how many sticks for a four foot? And how much are they a stick? I bought two panels, one, two, for 40 bucks for the same price. I cut them how I want, show them the scrap right there. And I'm going to figure out who wants to buy some scrap wood bowls. I don't know. Maybe, not me, but <laughs> nobody will know, right? We'll just turn them out and have some fun with them. We're just we're playing, but I'm, uh, there there might be some other projects I can do with that too. Anyways, uh, here's the wall, and this is what I'm doing on my Sunday afternoon or uh, evening. All right, I'll show you the wall when it's done. Okay, last stick. 
Um, and the, the, okay, so the whole reason I have this and not that is because I butted that corner up over there where the toolboxes are the same way because I didn't know where to start. And I didn't start with that panel over there behind the uh, ice box because there's an electrical box there and all kinds of craziness over there. So I was like, well, I'm gonna start with this easy corner, which I'm glad I did because this is the biggest wall of the shop because you have a door there. You have two doors on that wall. So that bit, I, I have most of the shop done. So luckily I decided to just start with that corner over there and move all the way around. So. The way I did that one is I, I put these all the way to the corner, uh, you know, just to just to have more mass. This this uh, this wall isn't just for sound. It's also uh, I'm, I think that it's more now than just a, a metal building that someone can come with a hack a, a, a sawzall, cut my building, and they get my stuff. You know, it's kind of a security thing. It's, it's fortifying the building a little bit more and all that stuff. So. Uh, that's the whole thing with this wall, but that's why and then tomorrow I'll come in and, and put this cross member in here and then put this uh, put the cross member in the middle so I can finish this corner out. And once that's done, I'm going to be so excited. So, uh, yeah, last board for today and then I'm going to go in. We had a long night last night. And uh, it was a good night, we had a good, good time, but we're both just tired and ready just to get some TV time in. But I couldn't waste this great Sunday. It rained all morning, but the temperature was nice. When it's summertime in South Texas, it's summertime. And you know, you can't cry, you just have to do it. You, got, uh, you can stay inside all day, or you can go out and do something. And I'd rather be outside doing something. So with that being said, with that being said, enjoy your life. It's going quickly. Have fun. And don't wait for the, uh, the bad things. Go out and have fun today. All right. We'll see you guys later. Um, and um, next time I see you, I'll have that lathe going. We'll see what the next video is because we're going to make something next time. But it's going to be cool. All right. See you later. If you are a retiring service person, a police officer, or um, anything of that nature, a uh, fireman, any of that stuff, um, I make awesome stuff at Texas Trophies for um, everybody. But just check us out, texastrophies.com. Thank you very much.